Luemiaga constituency is a semi-arid area in Sembabule district that's inhabited by a variety of Bantu-speaking ethnic groups, many of who are of Rwandan origin. When you move around the constituency, you can't miss the posters of the two parliamentary candidates strategically placed in key areas of the town. This constituency came under intense media spotlight last year during the NRM primaries where nasty scenes were witnessed between supporters of the incumbent MP Fyodor Sechikubo and the police over disputed election procedures. The two-horse race for the parliamentary seat has returned the 2006 rivals, MP Fyodor Sechikubo and his bitter rival Patrick Nkalubo. Sechikubo narrowly defeated Patrick Nkalubo in the primaries to become the flag bearer. Nkalubo is standing as an independent candidate but says he remains an NRM supporter. Luemiaga constituency has two sub-counties, Luemiaga and Tusi, with an estimated population of 37,200 people and 24,448 registered voters. The majority of the people here are cattle keepers, although there's also a sizable number of farmers and a few traders trying to make ends meet by retailing produce. The long drawn out and bitter political rivalry between Sechikubo and Kalubo for leadership has had a huge toll on Lemiaga residents. <laughs> Our leaders like the MP should be at the forefront of promoting unity, but they are instead polarizing agents. They are from the same village but behave like enemies. Should we flee and leave the village to them? The constituency has poor roads and just one secondary school that teaches only up to senior four. The previously rampant cases of land eviction subsided last year following the intervention of the president. This state of affairs has left some residents here disillusioned, prompting them to call for a change. <laughs> Our MP should know our problems. We don't have working health centers. It's terrible for expectant mothers. Nkalubo, a former chief administrative officer in Sembabule district, says he seeks to heal the people's wounds and that if elected MP, he would set up development projects. My program is to make sure that I unite all the people, to see to it that they become one the way they used to be before these politics came in. If I happen to get this seat, of which I'm confident that I will get it, I will have to make sure that I bring in so many people to see the problems of Remiaga, to see how people are suffering, to pass through these bad roads so that we can develop our area. Nkalubo, who also served as the Sembabule District Service Commission Chairman, is still bitter over the controversial declaration of Sechikubo as the NRM flag bearer. He, however, is confident of turning the tide against Sechikubo this time round. But robbing a flag does not necessarily mean that he, he robbed people's minds. But as we talk right now, he must go. I'm confident he will go. We later caught up with Sechikubo, who was holding a rally in one of the villages, where he was working up his supporters. <laughs> My emphasis, first of all, will be water. Without water, you can't do anything. The emphasis also shall be placed on the education. Fortunately, I've already received communication from the Minister of Education that starting this year, they are constructing us an A-level school in Remiag County. When asked to respond to claims that he could be ousted in the polls on 18th February, the outspoken MP dismissed the assertion in his characteristic mocking manner. The script is already written. Some of us are waiting to swear in in the ninth parliament, and you can even ask the people around. But seven never never not die mu parliament. mu parliament. So where has Nkalubo held such a rally? He can't hold the rally here. He's a masquerader being pushed by somebody else. We drove about five miles into one of the villages to check out the living conditions of the people. Here, we met a depressing sight of children walking long distances to fetch water from one of the dams. The water problems here in Chera village in Luemiaga County are quite serious. 
these people are fetching this water that's going to be used for cooking, bathing and even drinking. And all this is happening as the people contending for the MP seat are tearing each other apart instead of focusing on development activities for these local people. Luemiaga constituency that is sharply divided between Sechikubo and Kalubo supporters is lagging far behind many others in development terms. And this sad state of affairs may continue as long as the two leaders fail to reach a compromise. The feud has also reportedly sucked in the influential foreign affairs minister Sam Kutesa, who is MP for neighboring Maogola constituency. Kutesa is said to be leaning towards the opponents of Sechikubo and his allies, like Haman Santongo, who is seeking to retain the district chairmanship as an independent candidate. Chris Ochamringa, NTV.